there's a marketable difference between the challenges we have in the U.S. and straight, raw government censorship. The worst case scenario is that you could shut down entirely. What's happening is the Chinese government is putting a lot of control over platform companies in China and making sure that the certain message is getting out the way the Chinese government wants it. I'm not a fan of that. Um, I'd say we still have problems in the U.S., but it, there's a marketable difference between the challenges we have in the U.S. and straight, raw government censorship. So that's a whole other thing we'll get into later. Point is here, though, that with the Chinese government strengthening their grip, that's what this article is about, it's not good for these large tech platform companies, Tencent, and in this case, Baidu, because the Chinese government is basically becoming a threat to the core platform or to the subsidiary platforms. In this mm -hmm. case, IQE um, got in trouble with Chinese regulators. It's a public company. I think IQE's stock has tanked. There's two things that can go wrong. The, the sort of, they say, best case scenario when you get in trouble is you have to spend a lot more time and money basically improving your content moderation to make sure that you meet the standards that the basically Communist Party is asking you to meet. And that can be expensive. And uh, it was just something that all these content platforms have to deal with in China. The worst case scenario uh, is that you could shut down entirely, which has actually happened to a number of these kind of up and coming social media platforms that have been, uh, from the point of view of the Chinese Communist Party, repeat offenders or have been particularly egregious offenders. Uh, they can actually get shut down entirely. And some of these, even if they've been invested in by a big company like a Tencent, have gotten totally shut down. So that that there's a spectrum of uh, you know remedies and things that you can have to deal with if you're kind of in the crosshairs here. None of them are good from a business perspective in terms of they're going to create additional costs and in some cases can kill the business entirely. So I can understand why investors are uh, you know hesitant because there's a lot of uncertainty about where you fall on that spectrum and you can you know be cut off basically completely one day and you don't have really con full control of your business operating in that environment. Well, yeah, so exactly. So that's plagued IQE. It's it's hurt Tencent with some other subsidiaries. Um, it's just a very tenuous landscape to navigate. Um, so anyway, so that's also been a big drag. So Baidu is down, as I was saying, about I think 56% here over, or, over the past year. Um, and... IQE's stock is down, I don't know, 40 or 50%. And they have a big ownership stake in IQE. So, right. you know, it, it, it's dragging the whole thing down. Hi, this is Alex Mozed. Thanks for joining us on Winner Take All. If you enjoyed the content today, which I bet you did, please comment, subscribe, and definitely message me on Twitter when we're doing live streams. Also, please note, all opinions expressed about stocks or public companies on the show are exactly that, opinions. This is not investment advice. Don't act on it. Wisdom Tree licensed Applico's Platform Insights data product to aid in the creation of the Plat ETF. Thanks for joining us.